With Nuxt3, we can use what we call modules. And actually, we had already this in Nuxt2. Modules are like libraries. You have to install them and add them to your nuxt.config.js. Also, modules are made to simplify your integration and simplify your developer experience. These Nuxt modules are actually running asynchronous when your Nuxt application is launched. And these modules can be created by anyone they can be published on NPM in order to help other developers to save time, to help you to develop faster. We've got Tailwind, for instance, and if we click on Tailwind, because we already installed Tailwind on our Nuxt.js application, we see that on the installation command, we've got a prefix called at Nuxt.js slash Tailwind CSS. It means that this module, this specific library, is made only for Nuxt.js. And with the at Nuxt.js, we understand that we call actually the Tailwind version for Nuxt.js. But what is the main difference with a current library? Well, if we get back, we see that here we have a definition called uh, a supercharge. So a module is here to supercharge your Nuxt project. So we understand that this is a plus that goes directly inside the real life cycle of Nuxt. So let's get down and let's install, for instance, a package, a module called Nuxt content. So how do we install Nuxt content? Well, and how do we install Nuxt module most of the time? Well, which is cool is that we have often a documentation that comes with the modules that have been created by the developer. And that is really useful because when you click on it, we arrive on a new website, on a new documentation that explains to us how to use this specific package. There, I'm going to click on Get Started for Nux Content. And we see that I don't got a new project. I want to add my new project. So what I would need to do is to add this, uh, uh, actually this module by stopping my server and just typing yarn add dash dash dev at next slash content. I'm going to type enter. And after the installation, I am able to see that in my list, I got next content as a dev dependency. So it's not finished because with next, what we need to do when we want to use modules, that are uh, entering inside my Nuxt cycle, actually, my Nuxt context, I need to specify to my Nuxt application to use this module. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get back and go on nux.config.ts. And here I'm going to type modules, which is an array. This array is waiting for different modules. And we see here that type 9 proposed me already Axios as a package or proxy, but me, I'm going to use Nuxt content. And when I get back, I'm going to type enter there. There we go. And now I got Nuxt content. So I'm going to type yarn dev. And actually you will see that here for this specific package, nothing will have changed. However, if I want to use uh, Nuxt content, we see that I have to create a content folder. So I'm going to type content. And inside, I'm going to create an index.md because Nuxt content is a package to render markdown files. And now with Nuxt content, Nuxt understand that he has to look at content. So I'm going to type hello world. And if I want to render this content, I have to use a built-in component called content doc. So I'm going to close this, I'm going to get back. And now this built-in component, content doc, is available because I installed this module and I specify in nux.config.ts to use it. So I'm going to go on my main page and inside, instead of having this hello, I'm going to put content doc. And when I get back, I got my content. So as you see, there are many modules that you can use, for instance, E18N, which is actually for internationalization, and it's always working the same. What you need to do is to install the uh, corresponding package and then to add it to your module array inside your nux.config.ts in order to use it. Most of the time, you will look for a library to use in Nuxt, 
Well, before doing that, I highly recommend you to look at Nux modules because maybe there's already a developer that did the work for you and created a package that will help you to go faster in your developer experience.